Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to SML movie Goodman's Son Gets a Job by Super Brazil Logan. Now, the main reason why I'm uploading this late and why I'm filming this late is because I was recording a Minecraft video and I didn't realize until an hour, like an hour in after recording, uh, I noticed that that notification popped up, so I did not see it. So that wa that's why I'm premiering this late and... Yes, that is why it's it's going to be late. This one probably is going to premiere late around like 7 p.m. Maybe, I'm estimating. But uh, yeah, Goodman's son. I do not like his character at all. I do not. I do not. I mean, honestly, I'd say I despise him more than Rosalina. Because Rosalina, like, I mean, there are times where I feel like she can have a good line and she can be actually smart, but then there are other times where she's just really annoying and kind of, you know, really stupid. And Goodman, the thing is about Goodman's son is that I just don't like him. Because the thing is that Goodman, one, I think he's not really that great of a character, but he's fine, I'd say. Sort of like Rosalina, where he can be really annoying, but other times he can have a good line. Goodman's son, no. No, 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 no. Because I don't even know his name. <laughs> Like, I mean, I, I think he has a name, but I, I don't remember him because he's he's really forgettable. But not only that, it's just I don't I don't like his character. I really don't. Cause he just comes off as so annoying. Cause it's just like, oh, he's that rich kid, and then it's like, it's just no, it's not not a good character. Not a good character. But anyways, guys, we're drinking the description for me to subscribe to Super Brass Logan and the description. Anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, careful, careful, dude, careful. Uh, careful, dude, careful. Wait, careful, what? dude, careful. Shut up, Joseph. There's I'm money? Sorry, sorry. I got it. Of course there's money. So close. I'm so glad we're playing Jenga. Yeah, money Jenga. All right, Richard, it's your turn. Mm, which piece do I want to go for? Not only that, it's the same voice. Oh, okay, careful, oh, careful. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, 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 you lost. Yeah, you lost. Actually. Looks like I'm winning. One. All right, guys, yeah. so what game do you want to play now? How about hide and seek? Oh, 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 Money style, I'm guessing. Really good at hide and seek. Okay, okay, I'll be it. All right, Joseph, you and Richard hide, okay? Oh, okay, then. Oh, oh Richard. Okay. That's his name? One, two. Why does it say Richard? Oh, because it has to leech off of Goodman. That's why. Oh, where are they at? All right, guys, I'm going to find you. Just where are you at? <laughs> are you behind the teddy bear? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Are you inside that popcorn bucket? He's he's under the he's in the no. ball pit. <laughs> Joseph, you're there. Oh, dude, how did you find me? Oh yeah, his wings. Laughing. Oh darn! I need to shut my mouth. <laughs> oh yeah, you do. Now I gotta find Richard. Oh. <laughs> okay, Richard? that's funny. <laughs> Cha Ching! Oh, I'm allergic to your poor air. Well, I got See, you, Richard. All right, Joseph, it's your turn. Oh man! I don't people. like that at all. It's Who's not that? funny. I don't know. Oh, poor no, air. What poor air? Uh, hello. So hey there. I'm here to pick up my son, Richard. Oh, okay, Richard, your dad's here. Oh, thank God. Thanks for picking me up, Dad. It's so poor here. Yeah, well, it's such a thing up. Oh, it's such a spoiled junior, brat. I accidentally clogged your toilet. Sorry. But you clogged my toilet. Wait, you clogged his toilet? Yeah, I accidentally used too much money when I was wiping. Too much money when you were wiping? You know you're only supposed to use one bill at a time? Show me. All right, right this way. See, Dad? There it is. That is it, mister. You are grounded. Grounded for what? <laughs> you know you're only supposed to use one bill when you wipe, and you're wiping like we have endless amounts of money. Which we do, but you need to learn the value of money. So I think you need to get a job. A job? You poor! Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you a job. And I think you need to work at McDonald's. McDonald's oh. you poor people food. Now you get over here and let me smack those stupid AirPods out of your stupid head. Come here. Come on. Give me the other side. Come on. Alright. Hopefully you they don't go in the toilet. When you've earned them. Now let's go to McDonald's. All right, yeah. Welcome to your first day at McDonald's. How you feeling? Poor. Exactly. That's how we all feel until we start making fifteen dollars an hour. Then we'd be lower middle class. Well, how much am I making now? Eight forty-five an hour. Eight hundred and forty-five dollars an hour? That's not too bad. No, 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 my silly white boy. Eight dollars and forty-five cents. Ew, poor. Exactly. Let me show you the food layout. See, we got hamburgers right here, nuggets there, french fries, lettuce, and tomato. Why are the french fries? All this stuff was already made yesterday, okay? We just leave it out to give it flavor. <laughs> and this stuff right here is the stuff people return. See, we just keep passing out the window till somebody accepts it. 
Now let me show you how to make a burger. Oh my god. For a traditional burger, you got meat, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. See, I know that's a lot. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, did they, like, they had to pay, they must, they, it's either they had a friend or they paid, or maybe nobody's working there and they're just, like, Walked in there. I don't know. I don't think so. But they must have done something to like rent out the restaurant or something like that. But it, it's weird because like, I mean, they must have not told them they were going to make fun of McDonald's because like, you know, if they did, then they probably wouldn't let them rent it because they probably allow people to rent restaurants to like use them or something like that. For like a day, like probably for money. I would, I wouldn't be surprised. Song to help you remember. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese. Don't forget the lettuce. Then you add tomatoes. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. You've got to be kidding me. Mm. No, no, no. It's very catchy. Come on, sing it with me. First you add the meat, Bruce, then you add the cheese. Add the cheese. Don't forget the then lettuce. The lettuce. Then, then you add tomatoes. Tomato. Ketchup, mustard, 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 mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. I'm not singing that poor song. Do you want to get paid? <sighs> yeah. Come on, sing it with me. First, First you add the meat, meat then, then you add the cheese. cheese. Don't, Don't forget, forget the lettuce, lettuce then you add tomatoes. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, 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 Somebody at the drive-thru. Okay, get ready to make a sandwich. Oh, no. Who is it? All right. Oh, hello. I'm ready to order. Another one. Oh my god. I swear if they make a big smoke joke like a number nine or something like that. Look, is that all you want, ma'am? Yeah. All right, your total is 1738. All right, you accept EBT? No. You accept food styles? No. Hmm. Wait, can I get your discount? Look, it's my, it's my discount, ma'am. Look, look, can you please pull up for so we can get your food? I ain't pulling up for There ain't nobody behind me. Oh, my God. Look, look, I'll have your food in a minute, ma'am. And they want $15 an hour. Yeah, you slam that window. All right, Rashad. What we have? My name's Richard. Listen, Rashad. I'm trying to teach you something. Look, what we have here is what we call a bad customer. You can tell from a mile away. It's a dead giveaway. You can tell by the by the color, the color of their car. Their car? Yeah, yeah. She was driving a red car. People you racist son of a bitch. Oh, oh, no, you insensitive. <laughs> but uh, do you know what we do to bad customers? Insensitive. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Now she wanted a burger and some nuggets and fries dropped. So can you drop them on the ground and take 10 minutes doing it? She also wanted an ice cream cone, but uh, we always tell the customers that the ice cream machine is broken. To be honest with you, we don't even have an ice cream machine. I don't even know why it's on the menu. But uh, get to making her food and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. What do I do again? Oh, oh yeah, the song. Uh, something about the meat, then you grab some nuggets, how about some fries, don't forget the tomatoes, uh, ketchup, 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 See. All right, I'm done. Let me see how you did. Boy, what, what is this? It's a cheeseburger. The song, boy, the song. Well, here's the thing, didn't you, see, th that's a big problem. That's a big problem with there. Because it doesn't really feel like he messed up because you said yourself that this is a bad customer to the point where it seems like if he even if he even screwed up, it'd be a good thing. So it's like they should have made it a good customer. So that way, that way him screwing up is him actually screwing up. So that way, you know, it makes sense. Like, this does not make sense anymore because you made it seem like him screwing up is actually a good thing. So, yeah, I don't know why they did that. They decided to do that. It doesn't make any sense. I sing the song. You got a lot to learn. Let me just wrap this up and give it to her. Okay. What take you so long? Hey, what I told you about throwing bananas in my drive-thru? Look, look, here's your food, ma'am. 
food hit the ground, I'ma need you to make me some more. Look, I'm not making another burger for you, lady. Well, I also had nuggets and fries. Look, just have a good day, okay? Let me speak to your manager. I am the manager. All right, then, well, let me speak to the owner. Look, if you want to talk to the owner, how about you call old McDonald himself? He live on the farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, I do you one better. I'll call Mayor McCheese. Well, call Mayor McCheese, then. All right, this ain't the last you heard of me, and they want $15 out. Get out of my drive-thru, lady. Oh, I'm all right, Randy, I want you to work the drive through because I am scripts. How do I do that? Oh, it's super simple. They're going to pull up to the window. You say what real mean because it's inconvenient for you to take their order even though you work here. Now, they're going to give you their order. You make sure you get it wrong because we want them to come back. They're going to say they're not going to come back, but we're McDonald's. We got dollar burgers and we're open 24 7. So, uh, go to the window and get to working. My name is Richard. Come on, Randy, just go to the window. <sighs> okay. God. All right, work in the drive-thru. At least I don't have to touch that poor people food. Can I have some food? Ew, did you sneeze on the window? Hobo. Oh, you're hungry? Well, do you have money? No. Well, then what are you going to give me for food? Tomato. Ew, I don't want your poor tomato. We don't accept tomatoes here. I'm, I'm hungry. Well, shoot, get out of here. Shoot. Ew, poor. Ugh. Raymond, this well, I guess was good. Next one of our customers. Yeah, because he was poor. <sighs> Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Look, all of our customers are poor. You just can't spray them with Windex, though. How about we have the perfect conversation you're supposed to have at the window? But that was an you actual hobo. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. In my Lamborghini. Whatever. <sighs> what do you want? Why aren't you at Burger King? Why are you ordering here? Can I get a cheeseburger? A cheeseburger? <sighs> Windex is right down the street. All right, just pull up to the next window. See, it's that simple. See, now, you don't have to spray people with Windex, okay? Yeah. Let's forget my order wrong. And you want $15 out. You know what? Go, go ahead of the burgers. I got this. Did you just throw something at me? Uh-huh. I bought a tomato from a homeless man because I ran out of bananas. <laughs> what do you want from me, lady? I just want my order right because my booger had nuggets of fries on it. Ain't that what you wanted? No, I wanted it all separately. You know what? Look, here's your tomato back. Is the ch is the hobo gonna come back with m actual money? <sighs> All right, Ryan. I don't know how much longer I can work here. Me either. Look, I'm dreaming of bigger and better things, right? Like working at Chick Fil A. But see, the customers here is so annoying and poor. That too. <sighs> oh, another one. <sighs> Jeffy. What do you want? And can you please stop honking your horn? Jeffy? I stole my dad's car because he wouldn't bring me to get a Happy Meal. Cool, cool, cool. What do you want? Uh, can I get a cheeseburger Happy Meal with three toys? Wait, what? The happy Meal only come with one toy. Oh, yeah, he, 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 lo you only he get loves the toys. toys. How about three toys? It comes with <laughs> one toy. Three toys! One toy! <laughs> three toys! <laughs> okay! Okay! <laughs> All right, Robbie. We got Why is he funny now? <laughs> you know how I knew? Because of the color of the car? Exactly. The color of the car was red, so you know he's going to be mean. And he wanted a Happy Meal with three toys. Look, this ain't Toys R Us. I'm not giving him all them toys. You know what we're going to do to his food? We're going to spit in the food? Bingo. You're learning, Robbie. Okay, so uh, fix the food Randy. and remember the Oh, no, Richard. Okay. okay. All right, the song. Uh, sometimes there's meat, bunch of bunch of cheese, lot of lot of lettuce, uh, a couple chicken nuggets, maybe a few tomatoes, um, ketchup, 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 and then maybe the whole thing. Uh, mustard, 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 mustard. Uh, okay, that looks good. All right, it's ready. Let me check the happy meal and see how you did. Wait, Rachel, you're not supposed to give them all the ketchup and mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, let me get him a drink. You're not welcome. <laughs> not welcome. All right, Rufus. Oh I'm going to end your shift early today since it's your first day. What does that mean? That means you get to go home. Oh, thank God. Charge, come pick me up in the helicopter. All right, I'm going to get your check, and then you can go home, okay? How much money did I make? Well, you only worked for like 10 minutes, so uh, you made about 75 cents. Ew, poor. <laughs> welcome to the club. Oh, Dad, I'm back from work. Wait a minute. Ew, you smell poor. I know, but I got paid. Hold on, let me see that. 
75 cents. Congratulations, you've made enough money to buy three gumballs. Oh, Dad, I have a confession to make. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to work at poor restaurants anymore. And, and I'll even wipe my butt with 20s. Listen, son, you don't have to wipe your butt with 20s. That would be a disgrace to the Goodman name. We only wipe our butts with hundreds. But the fact that you said that you would wipe your butt with 20s shows that you appreciate money now. So let's go home and get out of this weird poor person's house. Oh, thank you, Dad. I love yeah, you so much. They, they... I love you too, son. Let's go. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know what this episode was. Personally, it was more of like making... It was like jabbing McDonald's, and that's what it was. Like, the thing is about this episode is it wasn't really an episode. Like, the way how he gets this job is legit clogging the toilet with money. And then, like, this resolution is just so off-the-wall, insane, and dumb that, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to think about this episode. It's a, it's a weird episode. I, I would I call it bad? No. But would I call it good? No. It was definitely not good. But it wasn't that bad? I mean, it was definitely... <laughs> it was meh. Like, it wasn't boring. It wasn't boring either. I wouldn't say it was boring. But it was... It was definitely not good. It was definitely something... I, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. Five, five, 5 or 6 out of 10. It was okay. But yeah, anyways, guys, what did you think of this episode? Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye!